Well, hello, hello, and welcome. I'm AJ O'Neill. My buddy Ryan Burnett and I created Webby because we do a lot of client work and working with younger developers, and we wanted something that was an easier, simpler way to install developer tools quickly. The way that Webby works is pretty simple. Number one, you just go down the list and find one of the tools that you're interested in. Number two is that you're going to copy the command that downloads and runs the installer. And number three is that you're going to paste that into your terminal and hit enter to run it. Back on the web page, each installer also comes with a cheat sheet of common things that you might want to know how to do with that tool. Webby can help you quickly install popular programming frameworks like Node and Flutter, modern command line tools like RipGrep and LS Deluxe, and utilities that simplify DevOps like Caddy and SSH PubKey. There are five things that make Webby different and solve the problems that we've had with other tools. Number one, it's easy to remember. We set up new systems frequently and we wanted something that we could quickly and easily type out on the command line on Mac, Linux, or even Windows to install tools that we commonly use and recommend. For example, when I want to install brew, I can easily remember that it's webinstall.dev slash brew. There's no documentation that I have to look up. Number two, no sudo. A huge number of the problems I see younger developers struggle with are simply a matter of messed up system permissions or a tool changing system settings when changing user settings would have done. So I wanted something that doesn't require sudo or other forms of admin privileges to install and that doesn't mess with system settings. No more having different installers fight over the permissions of user local or the infamous just try again with sudo. What could possibly go wrong? Number three, lightweight, meaning faster. You may not know this, but America ranks dead last in internet speed among the developed nations. And over 60% of Americans live in rural or suburban communities. I have a hard time telling someone the first thing they need to do to install a three megabyte tool is to install a 300 megabyte package manager. The Webby install scripts weigh about three kilobytes, meaning that they can fit in just two TCP packets. Number four, official up-to-date builds. Webby installers use official first-party builds, not third-party builds with special patches or modifications. Each Webby installer has a releases.js file that pulls updates from that tool's official releases API. So there's no delay between the time it's released by the software's author and the time it's available for you on Webby. And finally, compatibility and consistency. Most of the developer tools that we feature on webinstall.dev are cross-platform, meaning that they work on Mac, Linux, Windows, and Raspberry Pi, all the same. They're mostly also standalone or static builds, meaning that they're just a single binary file free of dependencies or that everything they need is included in the install package. So updating one thing is not going to break another. The key takeaway is that our goal with Webby is to make developers' lives easier by making a faster, more consistent way to install modern tools. So if you've got great ideas or questions, feel free to reach out to us on GitHub. Also, if you're interested in becoming a software engineer or just a better web developer, I've got a back to basic style software engineering online video course that you can check out at beyondcodebootcamp.com. Thanks for watching. Adios.